Welcome to the module describing the origin, functionality, and use of NetFlow and the GigaSmart NetFlow Generation application. In this module, you will learn about NetFlow and explore the features of the GigaSmart NetFlow Generation application. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain what NetFlow is and how it is generated, explain how NetFlow is used, describe the GigaSmart NetFlow Generation application features, explain how NetFlow improves security and monitoring. A NetFlow solution allows you to see patterns and trends across large parts of a network, but not what actually happened. Deep packet inspection shows exactly what happened, but only for the monitored link. NetFlow is available from most business class switches and routers through a few simple configuration commands. A typical NetFlow configuration permits flow summaries to be sent to one or two NetFlow collector destinations, virtually for free, and from most of the network. Because of the general nature of switching technology, Packets are available from two sources, from span ports or from inline taps or an inline bypass solution. Only one device can receive the traffic stream directly from a span or tap connection. Most Layer 3 switches can generate NetFlow today, as long as NetFlow doesn't stress the router CPU and they are only sending to one or two destinations, then NetFlow is all but free for them. Generating NetFlow, especially for high bandwidth links, can create problems for the router CPU. Many organizations do not permit NetFlow on critical core network switches because of this. Performing deep packet inspection also demands significant CPU resources, but this inspection typically is performed on dedicated hardware appliances where this inspection process is highly optimized. Thus, generating NetFlow can represent a risk to network stability, but deep packet inspection does not. To mitigate CPU demands, most NetFlow configurations either recommend or require packet sampling for high bandwidth links. Using 1 in 100 or even 1 in 1,000 packets as the basis for flow summaries may not meet the requirements for security uses of NetFlow. Dedicated deep packet inspection appliances are optimized to provide full analysis on the entire packet stream, increasing their usefulness for security purposes. NetFlow may not be supported by switches and routers in all areas where visibility is required. If visibility is of utmost concern, then tap or span traffic can be sent to a discrete probe which can perform NetFlow generation at an increased cost. The same unmanaged areas may be easily inspected by deep packet inspection through use of a tap, thereby opening any traffic up for detailed inspection. If your budget is small or your network is just large enough that you have to pick between packet and flow monitoring, then flow monitoring allows you to see activity across the whole network for a moderate cost. You don't have a complete view, but you have a general idea of what is taking place. In the more common dual-use scenario, NetFlow is used to identify where deep packet inspection is needed, and then packets are sent to deep packet inspection security or monitoring tools to see what is actually taking place. Any large network would routinely employ both deep packet inspection and NetFlow monitoring. NetFlow itself was pioneered by Cisco in the early 1990s, but didn't gain prominence till later in that decade. Cisco specified that a flow is a unidirectional stream of packets that arrive at the router on the same subinterface, have the same source and destination IP addresses, Layer 4 protocol, TCP or UDP source and destination ports, and the same type of service byte in the IP headers. The router accumulates NetFlow statistics in a NetFlow cache and can export them to an external device for further processing. The concept of a flow protocol summary can be compared to a telephone bill. The monthly phone bill reports which other numbers were called from your phone and what the duration of the call was. A NetFlow summary reports who was talking with whom by IP address, what protocol was used, how many bytes and packets were sent, and other similar statistics. The exact statistics reported depend upon which flow protocol is used, and often which variables were configured for reporting. Extending the phone analogy, you cannot determine what was said during any of the reported phone calls based on the phone bill, only that a conversation took place. To learn what was said, you would require a recording of the phone call. In networking terms, you would require the actual packets. A NetFlow-enabled router accumulates summary information continuously as part of the packet forwarding process. At the configured export interval, the router then sends those flow summaries to the NetFlow collector. NetFlow collectors usually want the most granular flow summary interval. One-minute export intervals is the most common setting. 
Once sent, there is no reason to keep the old statistics, so the router discards them after sending. Flow summaries are almost always sent as UDP packets. That means that a lost packet is ignored by both the sending router and the receiving NetFlow collector. A NetFlow collector uses flow summaries to populate large databases, from which a remarkable number of different uses can be made from that information. Perhaps the most common use is that of simple network monitoring. NetFlow data enables near real-time network monitoring that can be utilized to visualize traffic patterns associated with individual links, whole routers and switches, as well as on a network-wide basis. This reveals who the top talkers and top protocols are and what percentage of traffic they represent on a per-link basis, how many users are on the network at a given time, and when upgrades will affect the least number of users, how long users are active on the network, as well as when. This is used for security, too. Which Internet sites are accessed? And what typical usage patterns are between sites? NetFlow data can even help to identify what caused an outage that occurred during evening or weekend hours. Security uses are becoming much more prevalent, including malware, denial of service attacks, and unknown applications running on well-known ports, all of which can be difficult to detect. Sudden rises in network traffic, off-baseline traffic patterns, unusual traffic peaks, and traffic abnormally focused on certain parts of the network, on unexpected ports, or from unexpected addresses, and unannounced new applications consuming noticeable bandwidth or generating abnormal traffic patterns. Once a breach is known, near real-time or historical NetFlow data can help to identify which hosts were breached or became infected as the attack spread internally. It should be noted that as link speeds rise, packet sampling by routers is needed. At the same time, as security needs increase, the use of sampling is problematic because you lose potentially critical information. Application monitoring permits network owners to gain a detailed, time-based view of application usage over the network. This information is used to plan and allocate network and application resources to responsively meet user demands. Cloud monitoring represents just another instance of application monitoring, and for either use NetFlow to find bottlenecks in the network the impact on bandwidth by various local and cloud applications, scope operational losses if mission-critical cloud application is down, and discover unauthorized protocol and application usage. The final usage mentioned here is for accounting. From the beginning, NetFlow has been used for network usage billing and chargeback. If the NetFlow information is mined by an intelligent software algorithm which is checking for patterns and behavior changes, then you can see things like communications with untrusted Internet destinations, such as why is there a connection between the software build server and an address in Europe or Asia? Identification of peer-to-peer -peer conversations which are outside of normal patterns, suggesting some sort of attack or probing attempt. Detection of activity hotspots that could indicate existing issues or an active breach. These are all examples of what can be done with flow summary data based on intelligent analysis of a NetFlow database. Since the packets are already present in a visibility fabric deployment, it is easy to select traffic for NetFlow generation. Using flow mapping features, the traffic used for NetFlow can be broad, such as all traffic on an external facing link, or specific, such as just web traffic for a single server in a server farm. Offloading the CPU-intensive NetFlow generation operation from core switches improves switch reliability at the same time that the detail found in flow summaries increases since packet sampling is routinely performed by a switch in order to reduce the CPU demand. Gigasmart's dedicated resources can be used to generate one-to-one -one unsampled NetFlow so that every packet is reported. Also, NetFlow information is available from Gigasmart for areas of the network where traffic is flowing through unmanaged devices or devices which do not support NetFlow generation, thereby extending visibility into these areas. Even virtual traffic can be the source of NetFlow reporting by Gigasmart. Since the packets used for generating NetFlow are present in the visibility fabric, it is a simple matter to direct a copy of the actual packets to deep packet inspection tools for detailed analysis and security review. The ability to combine packet-based analysis and flow-based analysis in the same solution is becoming critical as an increasing number of tools are relying on both NetFlow and packets for problem identification and the subsequent remedial action list. A visibility fabric can deliver both NetFlow summaries and packets for analysis of the same traffic. Use of the Gigasmart NetFlow generation application provides a number of valuable outcomes. First, the efficiency and reliability of the network infrastructure is improved by offloading the task of generating NetFlow. 
At the same time, visibility of activity throughout more of the network is made possible. Gigasmart can generate NetFlow based on all of the packets and does not require sampling. By using unsampled NetFlow, it is possible to detect even the most subtle single packet per week advanced persistent threat probe. Full information about all the traffic means that determining the root cause, origin of a breach, or the progression and members of a compromised group of devices is more reliable. Note that Gigasmart also supports NetFlow sampling, configurable in the range from 1 in 10 packets to 1 in 16,000 for situations where the collector is receiving too many flows. Given the increasing amount of traffic crossing a large network, it is possible to have too much information to reliably identify critical events. That is, unless monitoring and investigation are aided by the guidance offered by NetFlow summary analysis. Using NetFlow data to monitor general trends and destinations, it is much easier to focus deep packet inspection tools on problem areas and suspicious behavior. This allows fewer tools to monitor larger parts of the network. Using the Gigamon API to allow tools to automatically redirect selected packets from almost anywhere in the network over to the right tools in response to NetFlow analysis is a powerful added capability. When the API is not used for automated traffic filtering and forwarding, it typically takes only a couple of minutes and a few simple commands to manually accomplish the same end. Unlike the typical core switch, which supports only one or two NetFlow destinations, Gigasmart is able to forward NetFlow summaries to six collectors. Each will receive its own copy of the NetFlow version 5, version 9, or IPFIX formatted flow summaries from that Gigasmart operation. Create additional Gigasmart operations to filter and report on other traffic and send those flow summaries to the same or other destinations as appropriate. Gigasmart capacity can be scaled to meet almost any NetFlow reporting requirement. Using Gigasmart NetFlow generation for security offers several advantages over obtaining NetFlow from other sources. First, Gigasmart can report on all of the packets. Trying to use NetFlow generated from a source which is sampling only 1 in 100 or 1 in 1,000 packets does not provide reliable detection of anything less than a substantial volume of activity. Second, having both a flow summary and the actual packets available means that there is little or no delay between detection and when analysis begins. Using historical NetFlow data previously sent to and stored in the NetFlow analyzer, you can even trace back a problem to find the time and point of entry, or to determine the scope of the problem. After evaluation of the needs of security, Gigamon has added the ability to include extra information in flexible NetFlow records to aid in monitoring and tracking certain types of traffic. Gigasmart now permits inclusion of selected interface information and or URL information into flow summaries. Using these additions, the NetFlow information available from a visibility fabric deployment becomes even more useful for general monitoring and for security in particular. For general monitoring and better analysis insight, you can now look at URLs embedded in the packet. Big data applications and external collectors can rank or generate reports on traffic based on URL, for example, the top 10 visited sites. As a quick summary of the benefits of using Gigasmart NetFlow generation, consider the following. Minimize risk to production networks. Out-of-band solution completely eliminates the risk of losing production traffic as a result of generating NetFlow. Optimize production network. Offload NetFlow generation to visibility fabric, eliminating the risk of expending expensive production network resources. High throughput solution. Unsampled one-to-one -one NetFlow record generation to facilitate true response and root cause capability. An industry first, visibility in a box. Integrated traffic visibility solution combines GigaSmart capabilities with NetFlow generation. Optional drill downs for troubleshooting and root cause analysis leverage the traditional aggregation, filtering, and traffic forwarding capabilities of a visibility fabric. Enhanced operational efficiency. Increased visibility into traffic types, relationships between traffic nodes, and usage patterns leveraging summarized NetFlow statistics across big data environments and remote locations, custom NetFlow exports to meet specific management needs. Facilitate network security enforcement. Enable full network protection with visibility into every flow. Standardize on NetFlow versions. Facilitate enterprises and service providers to standardize on a specific NetFlow version across their entire monitoring infrastructure. Eliminate the burden of supporting vendor-specific custom versions of NetFlow for monitoring tool vendors. Gigasmart NetFlow generation is a key element of the GigaSecure security delivery platform. 
Consider these ways in which the GigaSecure platform and the NetFlow generation capability in specific can improve security within your network. Changes to the core infrastructure rightly needed to be approved by change management before they are attempted, and scheduling of those changes must be planned to place the least risk to operations. Reconfiguring a core router certainly means risk to the production network. Since GigaSmart generation of NetFlow is an out-of-band event, there is no risk to the production network, so the need to schedule changes to the configuration depend only upon tool users. You can make changes as requirements evolve, regardless of what time of day the changes are implemented. Unless you have great router configuration skills, a router may generate NetFlow for everything sampled on an interface. If this is an internet-facing link, and your router firewall is denying various attack traffic, the router may summarize the attacks in NetFlow even though the packets were not forwarded. Router ACL filters are typically applied after NetFlow has seen the packets. GigaSmart leverages the highly flexible flow mapping technology when you wish to be selective about what flow summaries are generated and sent to collectors. In fact, you can take advantage of the visibility fabric to filter packets from multiple collection points, permitting selective NetFlow generation to meet the needs and goals of different IT projects and requirements. A high-capacity link may force very large sampling configurations to prevent router problems. Unmanaged network segments, either due to Layer 2 switches, legacy equipment, or lack of NetFlow generation features, means blind spots in the network. There may be different reasons why NetFlow may be unavailable for traffic, which should be monitored. GigaView nodes are designed to handle packets, lots of packets, Using simple forwarding or complex aggregation and filtering techniques, appropriate packets can be provided to GigaSmart for NetFlow generation. The visibility fabric can generate NetFlow for any packet which is important to that IT department, whether it originated from a mobile device or a virtual server which was relocated using vMotion. What do you want to monitor and how would you like to monitor it? Gigamon provides integrated packet and flow access into a single solution. Once selected, packets can be groomed using GigaSmart features to meet the abilities and needs of each type of tool. NetFlow generation may be configured for any of the GigaSmarts deployed within a visibility fabric, and additional GigaSmart modules can be added to specific nodes to increase the available resources in any one location. Thus, scalability is easily accomplished generally or in specific locations throughout a visibility fabric deployment. Refer to the GigaSecure training module as well as other training modules to learn more about additional key elements in the GigaSecure platform. Additional details about NetFlow generation can be found in the GigaSmart NetFlow Generation Configuration Training Module, the GigaSecure Training Module, the HVIEW Web Interface Online Help Topics from the GigaSmart Datasheet and Brochure, and in the User Guides. In this module, you have become familiar with NetFlow and explored the features of the GigaSmart NetFlow Generation application. You are now able to explain what NetFlow is and how it is generated. Explain how NetFlow is used. Describe the GigaSmart NetFlow generation application features and explain how NetFlow improves security and monitoring. This completes the GigaSmart NetFlow generation training module. Thank you.